Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition, we're going to talk about the volumes of spheres and then also problems related to the volumes of spheres. So really simply and straightforward, volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So when we were talking in two dimensions, we had a circle, and the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now we're dealing in three dimensions, and so our formula will change, although the radius is going to stay the same. It's still r, but now r is just going to rotate around in three dimensions to create a sphere. So volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. First problem asks us to find out whether or not a particular ice cream cone, let's just say this is a strawberry uh, ice cream, is going to overflow if it melts into this ice cream cone. We know that the height of the ice cream cone is 9 centimeter centimeters, and we know that the diameter of the top of the ice cream cone is going to be 4 centimeters. We also know that the strawberry ice cream has the cone, or the uh, ice cream ball itself has a radius of two centimeters. So let's do the calculations. First we want to figure out what the volume of the ice cream is. The volume of the ice cream is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. We know that r is 2, so it ends up being 4 thirds pi times 2 cubed, which is the same as 32 over 3 pi. So 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 4 is 32, 32 pi over 3 is the volume of units squared, or centimeters squared in this case, is the volume of our ice cream. Now we want to find out the volume of the cone, and the equation or the formula for the volume of a cone is one-third base times height. So I have one-third, the base area is going to be two uh, pi squared, or four pi, times the height, which is nine. So I end up with 36 pi over three units cubed, uh, which is greater than the volume of the ice cream itself. So when the ice cream melts, it will not overflow uh, from the cup. But I don't think we want to let it get to that point anyway. Okay, next question. There are two parts to this question. We have a cube whose sides are 10. Total volume is going to be 1,000 cubic uh, units. And we have a couple questions that uh, stem from that cube. The first one is, based on a, a cube with sides of 10, what's the largest size sphere that would be able to fit into that cube? Well, we know that if we draw uh, a sphere inside of that cube, that the sphere will touch the edges at these points here, 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 and then in the back, and the top here. So we know that the distance from the center of the sphere to the farthest most reaches, or the outside of the sphere, the sphere itself, uh, sphere itself is going to be 5, or half of the length of the side of the cube. So 5 is our radius now for the sphere. And I have 4 thirds pi times 5 cubed, which is equal to 125 times 4 thirds pi, or 500 pi over 3. And I'm going to say that's units cubed. So that's the largest volume of a sphere that will fit into a cube with a side length of 10. Next question is, what is the largest volume, or the smallest volume, of a sphere that will encompass or can be circumscribed about that cube? So we can see now that the radius uh, of the sphere is going to be equal to half of the diameter. And the diameter, uh, in this case, is going to equal the diagonal length of the cube. So I have uh, 10 as one length, 10 as the width, and 10 as the height. So I know that my diagonal is going to be 10 root 2. So half of my diagonal is going to be 5 root 2. So I'll have a, a sphere with a radius of 5 root 2. And I figure out the volume is going to be uh, 5 root 2 cubed is equal to 250. 250 times 4 is 1,000. Then 1,000 over 3, I get 1,000 root 2 pi over 3 as my answer. In the final question, we're asked to figure out what the relationship is between 
a sphere that's enclosed inside of a cylinder. And now the requirements are that the cylinder has to be as small as possible to fit the sphere. So if you were to create a sphere and then uh, draw a, or create also a cylinder around that sphere, what is the relationship of that cylinder and the volume of the cylinder to the volume of the sphere containing it? So we know the volume of the cylinder is going to be uh, pi r squared, or the base, times the height. So we can figure out what the base area is. We just know that it's uh, pi r squared. In this case, we're going to say that r is that distance from the center of the sphere to the edge. And it's also the radius of the bottom and the top uh, components of the cylinder, top circles of the, of the cylinder. So here I have a radius of r. And then that means that the diameter is going to be 2r. So from the top of the cylinder to the bottom, and also the top of the sphere to the bottom is going to be 2r. So to figure out the volume of my cylinder, I take pi r squared to the base area times the height, which happens to be 2r. And I compare that with the volume of a sphere, which in this case is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. And I relate them to each other. 2 uh, pi r cubed versus 4 thirds pi r cubed the pi r cubes cancel to 1, so I'm left with a relationship of 2 to 4 over 3, or we can say 2 over 1 times the reciprocal of 4 over 3, which is 3 over 4, which gives me 6 over 4, or 3 to 2. So the volume of the cylinder, the small cylinder that can encompass a sphere, is going to be 1 and a half times greater than the volume of the sphere itself.